Hi guys, welcome back. Luke is here. Today we have a 2013 Dot, a dark uh, GT. And the customer complaints, he has a jack engine light is on right now, as you can see right there. So right there, jack engine light is on. And I, uh, uh, drove around the parking lot and I do feel the kind of shaky uh, during the acceleration I believe it is a um, misfire or either gonna be misfiring or uh, some kind of vacuum leaks it's behave very much alike so and I have my scan tool hooked up right now and uh, I already scanned all the codes and here's all the codes and the ECM uh, engine control module have one code and we have a P0301 active that means it's current this is happening right now cylinder number one misfire I'm gonna go back in the shop and I'm gonna show you how to do this Okay, you have to take that um, cover off. There's two bolt. They are 10 millimeter, and once you remove that, it just pop right out. Then you're gonna remove those uh, PC um, hose hoses. That is the number one that I'm pointing at. I mean the cylinder number one. And these PCV uh, holes is really uh, hard to get out, so make sure you use a hook. Hook that around, and you'll be able to remove that hose. And this kind of tricky. So this uh, connector, electric uh, connector, you pull the the yellow tab out from both sides, then slide right out, and you push down that. Um, that pin right there then you pull right out it's kind of really hard to pull it out so make sure you use um neither can you use your uh tiny screwdriver so number one is on your left and number two is on your right so let's go one two three four is in sequence And once you uh, make sure you twist and pull, it is easy to uh, pull it out right out that way. If rather than you pull straight out, is you're fighting with the uh, resistance. So just twist and pull, twist and pull. So that's the easiest way to uh, get that thing out. And as you can see, number one cylinder coil is different than number two right there it has some uh, kind of residue right there some kind of a uh, electrical arc and you're gonna see uh, the spark plug it is the same too once I pull it out There it is. That's from uh, arcing or the electrical arcing spark plug tube. There we go, spark plug tube. So I removed the, uh, I mean, replace the uh, new spark plugs and one new coil. Then it fixed the uh, problem from uh, misfiring. And make sure you pull, uh, make sure you uh, tighten it down with the uh, hand first so you don't cross thread them. And make sure you torque them down. So this one is uh, torque value is 162 foot pound, uh, inch pound. 162 is inch pound, not foot pound, okay? 
and make sure you put a dab or uh, electric uh, die grease on the coil at the end of the uh, coil where the spark plugs are kind of plugged in and you tight you put back uh, the uh, electrical connector back just push it in everything push it right in make sure you put the little tab the little yellow tab right there to make sure that it's fully tight so they don't slip out And here is the new ignition coil. Make sure you tighten by hand first, then you're gonna tighten down the uh, with a electric um, ratchet or impact. Then you're gonna put your electric connector on, push that tap in, you are done. Okay guys, so I installed the uh, spark plugs and one ignition coil. So what we're going to do is going to erase the code, make sure your ignition key is on, and the code successfully erased. So we're going to go to mis misfire data, and we're going to test drive it. You know. Oh.